Hello, it's Adrian with the Automation Group at Gary Electric. In this video, we're going to try to have a look at the PowerFlex 750 series, and we're going to try to do a comparison between the PowerFlex 753 and PowerFlex 755. The PowerFlex 750 series is a robust family of AC drives that provides ease of use, flexibility, and performance for various industrial applications. PowerFlex 753 drives provide general purpose control for applications up to 350 horsepower. PowerFlex 755 drives provide maximum flexibility and performance up to 2000 horsepower. So, one may ask, how will we decide which drive to use for our application? In order to better understand that, we will look at char the characteristics for each of the drives. For the input voltage, both drives can handle anything between 200 volts AC up to 690 volts AC. For the power, PowerFlex 753 can do up to 350 horsepower for voltages as high as 480 volts AC and up to 300 horsepower for voltages up to 690 volts AC. Meanwhile, PowerFlex 755 can handle up to 2000 horsepower for voltages as high as 480 volts and up to 1500 horsepower for anything between 600 and 690 volts. So, obviously, for anything above 350 horsepower, PowerFlex 755 will be the drive to use. Moving into the logics integration, both drives are offering pretty much the same options, including automatic device configuration and add-on profiles. Device logics control technology, safety options like safe torque off and safe speed monitor, as well as predictive diagnostics, is available on both drives. The difference is that the PowerFlex 755 is going to be able to do safe torque off over Ethernet, while the PowerFlex 753 doesn't have that option. Looking at the hardware for the two series of drives, PowerFlex 753 consists of a control board, it has an additional power supply, and has three option slots for additional communication or I.O. cards. Meanwhile, the PowerFlex 755 has a control board, and instead of three option slots, it has five additional option slots. For communication, both drives can do many different protocols. There are option modules available for Ethernet IP, dual Ethernet IP, control net, device net, and a variety of industrial networks. The main difference is that the PowerFlex 755 has the embedded Ethernet port as standard. Moving into the IOs, PowerFlex 753 is coming with embedded IOs as standard, including a couple digital inputs, one relay output, one transistor output, one analog output, and one analog input, as well as one PTC input. PowerFlex 755 doesn't offer any standard IOs, so for any additional IOs that are required by our process, we'll have to use one of the option cards. For positioning, PowerFlex 753 can do indexing, and can do incremental feedback, while PowerFlex 755 can do indexing, becoming electronic gearing, position and speed profiling, and can be utilized with incremental, hyperphase, SSI, and even absolute encoders. PowerFlex 755 can be used as a motion drive with the SIP motion instruction set. So, for the application sets, both drives are going to work for most of the applications, but for more advanced applications like lifting, PowerFlex 755 is using torque-proof technology. In conclusion, the PowerFlex 753 drives are cost-effective and very easy to use for more general-purpose applications. They feature standard built-in IOs, plus three option slots for communication, safety, and additional IOs. PowerFlex 755 AC drives are very easy to use. They offer application flexibility and high performance. They include multiple control hardware and safety options, 
and these drives are well suited for a wide variety of applications with multiple motor control selections. The built-in Ethernet IP will deliver real-time operating data and it will easily integrate with Logix control systems. And it is ideal for applications that are requiring position, speed, or torque control up to 2000 horsepower. Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to visit the Gary YouTube channel for more content.